Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So, what I wanted to do for this video was to quickly pretty much go through my whole recruiting situation since it is our bio week. I know we are currently 3-0. We're about to kick off SEC Conference gameplay, taking on the Florida Gators in next week. But for this week, I just wanted to go ahead and show you our bleak recruiting board. And ha things haven't been going our way, really. But I just wanted to run through our top recruits and pretty much explain to you why I'm going after these players. You see our number one player is Barrett Golden who is a guard, 80 overall, but we like him because of his 86 run block. I feel like he will be able to contribute a lot, especially, especially since I like to run the ball. But the thing is we are currently fourth on his list. We have a schedule set up for him in week number 10, but I don't know if he's gonna make it that long. Notre Dame is definitely on top and he has a week eight visit. so. Hopefully he stays available until week number 10 and hopefully we can come in and scoop him up later. The next player I'm going to talk about is an outside linebacker named Rob Carrington. Now we are on top of his list. He is the 6'3", 213 pound outside linebacker, a four star prospect from Florida. And the thing with him that we really like is since we run a 3-4, we want a player that has you know a decent amount of block shedding. And from the players that I've scouted so far, Nobody has really had that, so he is pretty much on top of that list in terms of block shedding, and it was only a bonus that we are on top of his list. He comes in next week against the Florida Gators, so it's going to be a tough recruiting visit, um, a tough matchup during the recruiting visit, but hopefully, you know, we can go ahead and seal him up. He doesn't have any other visits scheduled until week 10, but hopefully by then, he's already committed to come to Lexington, Kentucky. The next player I'm going to talk about is Avery Gutierrez, I believe that's his last name, and he is a strong safety from Kentucky, but the thing is, we started off number one on his list, but Virginia Tech has caught us and it's one of those situations where we're just hoping that you know he's able to finally commit to us once he comes on his visit but the thing is with him he is slow only a 77 speed but his hit power is a 93 so he has and he also has 85 zone coverage so running a 3-4 running a lot of zone i definitely want him on this squad you see we have him on week number 10 to come for a visit the only reason i pushed that back so late is hopefully by then we could unlock, I believe, his royal treatment and, you know, get a lot more points for his visit as opposed to only 200 points. So that's the only reason why we pushed him back to week number 10. Now, the number four player on our recruiting board is an athlete by the name of William Houston. Now, he's only a 66 overall, but the thing is, being an athlete, he provides us a lot of flexibility. He has the potential to play quarterback with the 81 throwing power. But most likely, we will put him in the secondary with a 76 man coverage and I believe it is a 79 zone coverage. So that's one thing we like about him is the flexibility. And most likely, he's going to come down to Kentucky as we're number one on his recruiting board by far. He only has two scholarship offers. So that's pretty much a sure bet that he will be wearing a Wildcat jersey next season. The number five player in our, on our recruiting board is another outside linebacker by the name of Philip Branch, a three-star prospect from Tennessee. Now, he obviously wants to stay close to home as Vanderbilt is his top school, but being a bordering state, hopefully we could go ahead and take him off of Vanderbilt's hands. Now, I don't like him quite as much as I like Rob Carrington. However, he is still a player that I would not mind having on my defense. So, it's a player that we're still trying to go after. And clearly, like I said before, he has two scholarship offers and Vanderbilt is his top school, but he has a visit next week against the Florida Gators. So hopefully we can impress him on his visit and hopefully change his mind. Now, the number six player on our recruiting board is a defensive end by the name of Nathan Walker. He is also a three star prospect this time from Michigan, and we are clearly the top team on his recruiting list. And one of the things we like about Nathan Walker is he brings height to the defensive end position. I like big defensive ends, and he is 6'6". He has a 74 block shedding, but 77 power moves and a 74 finesse moves. So he is a player that won't start right away, but hopefully he can mold into something great later on in his career at Kentucky. But most likely, he will be wearing the Wildcat uniform as well. The number seven player on our list is a receiver by the name of Jeremy Lemon. He is the number 14 receiver in the country, 6'2", 171 pound, four-star receiver. 
and the reason why we decided to target him and he was a late addition is just simply because he didn't have any scholarship offers and he has 91 speed 76 catching so clearly a receiver that could do work for Kentucky so you see right here no recruiting offers whatsoever so hopefully nobody continues to recruit him and he's a player that we could definitely steal now the number eight player that we have is another receiver this time his name is John Peters 6'4 202 pounds out of Ohio he is yet another receiver who has not got a scholarship offer so we're going to go ahead and jump on him as well. He's not as fast with 86 speed, but he still has 74 catching, 74 spectacular catching, and an 80 route running. And you see no scholarship offers. The only difference is we have a little bit more of a steep hill to climb, down 1,275 points. So this one's going to take some time, but he's another receiver that we're trying to sneak up and get late. Now the number nine prospect on our recruiting board is Jermaine Morse. A 69 overall middle linebacker. Now we need middle linebackers as two of our middle linebackers currently are both graduating. So we just need to fill, it, fill that position. He is a three-star prospect, 81 speed. Nothing else is really tremendous, but he's a player that we could hopefully mold, redshirt him his freshman year, and hopefully he could become a nice productive player. We are currently fifth on his recruiting list. 585 points back so it's not nothing that we can't fight back but it's not looking too well for us right now and now the next middle linebacker is fred allen he's number 10 on our list and we just recently added him to the recruiting board just because it's not looking too good for jermaine morris and we're going to need middle linebackers or else we're going to have to fill that spot with most likely walk on so we're trying to get him he is a juco player so we're trying to get him and you see right here he has two scholarship offers from the University of Miami and from Penn State so we're trying to get him hopefully we can make it happen now this player is a quarterback Damian Williams he's 65 overall we haven't spent not a single point towards him but just having him on our list has fortunately made us the top team he is a bust but if we could go ahead and get a quarterback who most likely would never take a snap as a starter, but he'll be a player that, you know, could just fill up the roster. Now, that is pretty much all of our top recruits that we're going for. We only have eight positions to fill, so I'm trying to focus in on a little amount of recruits, but pour a lot of points into them. These are other players that, that are just pretty much filling up our recruiting board, and hopefully, you know, we can start getting some recruits soon. We don't have one yet, but we have a big time visit against our SEC opener, Florida Gators, next week. Hopefully, we can show out in that game and get some recruits. But that's it for this episode. Please go ahead and leave this video a like, comment. Also, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It's your boy, D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.